646 is your time right now. You're taking a live look there in Washington, D.C. We've got another 15 minutes of nonstop news coming right ahead. Right now, the country awaits a verdict in the trial of former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin. He's accused of killing George Floyd after kneeling on his neck for more than nine minutes. Our Washington correspondent, Alexandra Limon, shows us live now with how the White House is now preparing for the verdict. Good morning, Alexandra. Good morning, and the White House says it is preparing for the verdict in the Chauvin trial and for whatever public reaction that verdict may bring. Meanwhile, on Capitol Hill, lawmakers seem to still be struggling to find common ground on police reform bills. We are in touch with mayors, governors, local authorities. From the White House to Capitol Hill, all eyes in Washington are on Minneapolis as the country awaits a verdict in the trial of Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin, accused of killing George Floyd. Of course, our objective is to ensure there is a space for peaceful protest. Republican Senate leader Mitch McConnell worries the reaction to the verdict won't be peaceful. Some of last summer's demonstrations devolved into violent and destructive riots. Following the death of George Floyd, Americans took to the streets to demand change, and Congress began deliberating police reform bills. Senate Republicans tried to pass legislation that would have expanded body cameras, increased transparency in policing, and finally made lynching at long last a federal crime. But almost a year later, Republicans and Democrats like Connecticut Senator Chris Murphy remain at an impasse over just how far a national police reform bill should go. It just makes sense for there to be a, you know, a federal prohibition on chokeholds, for there to be more support for the Department of Justice when they're going after police departments that have um, sort of histories of systemic racism. Democrats passed their police reform bill in the U.S. House, but that bill will face an uncertain future in the U.S. Senate. Reporting live in Washington, Alexandra Limon.